to look at this Integra Type R. So the owner today is with us, Nathan. This is Nathan. Hi. Nice to meet you. So you should bring him in. That's all right. We got a little bit hampered today by the rain. Yeah, typical British weather. Yeah. So we have found ourselves in this undercover car park doing our own need for speed underground. Nathan, do you want to tell us a bit about this car? I know we had a little bit of a chat off camera and you had some real interesting stuff to say. So do you want to um, just tell us about how you found it, the history that you know of it, and yeah. Well, it was a, it's a 1997 Honda Integra Type R, yeah. and it's a JDM, so it's the import. The imports, they have... Um, uh, it's got a different front end, it's got the longer headlights instead of the two circle ones. Oh, right, okay. The UK one have the two circle headlights. Ah, okay, I didn't realise that. Yeah. Oh, there we are. Learn something every day. <laughs> and they, do they have a different, a different engine or a different uh, tune to the engine? They've got a B18C. Yeah. And they, I believe they've got a different uh, map on them, which is 190 brake horsepower. Excellent. And what did the UK version have? I believe it's around 180 mark. I'm not sure okay. on that. Okay. How long have you had it for? Uh, I've had it for a couple of months. A couple of months. I have been looking for one for a couple of years. <laughs> uh, only just found this one a couple of months ago, and we went down and picked it up the next day. Uh, Where did you get it from? Plymouth. It? Oh right, so it wasn't local then. No. We're in, we've been in Kent. Plymouth isn't exactly local. It's about a three-hour drive. Was it something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Let me just check that. I think I've got it from Colchester. So I was looking at about four of them in one corner. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I um, didn't really appreciate these DC2 Type R's until I found Danny DC2 on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And uh, sorry, Danny DC2, but the first time I ever saw one of your videos was when you crashed at the Nürburgring. <laughs> After that I was hooked and ever since I've been watching your videos and I've been watching the progress on your DC2. Absolutely love the cars now, I really appreciate them for what they are. Plymouth, <clears throat> yeah, it Plymouth. Plymouth. Yeah, Plymouth. Uh, yeah, and it's good to know as well that Danny DC2 has decided to get his DC2 back on the road. He was going to scrap it at one point, I think, yeah. and now he's changed his mind, so thumbs up. Anyway, shall we have a little um, look around? Can we, yeah. shall we start in the interior? Yeah. Yeah, let's go around there. Yeah. It's got the black Recaros instead of the red Recaros. Oh, nice. Yeah. Is this Alcantara? Or? I believe so, yeah. It's a little bit warm. It's nice. Yeah, it is. And are they the standard, are they the standard seats that you're getting? In yes. This one they are because it says on the door, interior type black. Ah, so okay. It's original in this one. These look really comfy, actually, don't they? They, they look they like they hold, you know, they, yeah, they really hug you nicely hold. and hold you in place. Which is kind of what you need in a car like this. Yeah. Yeah. And the super knob. Yeah, it, really, it gets really, really cold in the winter. <laughs> so I've got a little hat for it. It's <laughs> something you can't touch. So. A woolly hat for your shifter. <laughs> Love it. That's great. An LSD? Uh, LSD, standard. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I do believe it's got it. Yeah. What about the engine? Yeah. Mm. What about the engine? Ah, so the, the headlights are bigger. Well, the uh, yeah, the UK bigger. ones had like twin lamps, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. And the oh, came yeah. up and covered the whole really? uh, headlight. I thought it was a different model. No, yeah, I, th I thought that. I hadn't realised that was the difference between the yeah. Japanese and the UK oh, yeah. versions. Hell yeah. S2000 clutch master cylinder. So okay. We normally have the reservoir on the strut top. Right, okay. But on the S2000 one, it's on the pedal, so it's actually under the fuel, uh, under the fuel filter on the bulk. Does that bring you any advantage uh, by switching to, to the S2000 one? Not really, it's just the fact that it was leaking and I may as well upgrade it. So oh, right. <laughs> when I replace it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's got 421 manifold. Nice. Do you know what uh, brand I it is? I don't or? know what brand it is. It was on there when I bought the car. It looks stainless. Is it stainless? I think so, yeah. Yeah, it looks, mm, yeah. It looks like a stainless manifold. Yeah, Mugen. I mean, Mugen. This. That's standard. 
That's standard, yeah. yeah that's why I'm going to ask. Yeah. That's awesome. beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. That's standard. Just repainted the ends and polished it up. Yeah. Like it's that. on coil overs and fully adjustable suspension all round. So but this is not stock? The coil overs? No, the coil overs aren't stock. Okay. I don't know what brand they are. Hard brace rear camber arms and it's got uh, gold lower rear control arms as well. And that's, that came with the car? No, I put uh, all the control arms on and okay. I put the coil overs, but I'm just not sure what make them. Okay. I can't remember. Great, something that's quite rare for these cars. Nathan was telling me as well, the, this uh, engine gearbox is matching numbers on the chassis as well, so it's, it's all original to the car. There's been no engine swaps, no gearbox swaps. If this is how it left the factory, all the same equipment still on it. It's a plan. Yeah. <laughs> this stock? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. I think the new Integra got the new BMW. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at this. What makes you th I would translate that for you. But uh, I've not got my reading glasses on, so I can't tell. <laughs> Japan inside everything. And the coil over is doing a very good job. Yeah. It's very nice. The sound and immediately the power. Yeah, it's good. God damn. Greg mentioned to me that uh, things stop rather well. Is there any particular reason for that? 
It's got the 280 mil brakes on the front. They normally have 254, uh, and it's got braided brake lines all around as well. So what would you? What are they from? What are the brakes from? To be larger, uh, are they? Uh, I from think another I Integra believe they're or? from a MB6, which is a Civic. Oh right. It's Civic Civic calipers as well. Or can yeah, you, Civic can calipers, carriers, pads and discs. Oh right. And um, cornering wise, I know we uh, joked about the tyres being like roller skates in this weather. Yeah. However, you can't get away from the fact that this car is absolutely planted. Yeah. So, is that, it's not standard suspension. I know you said you've got coilovers, but what else have you done to the suspension? Uh, adjustable front camber arms, which are hard race. Okay. Um, adjustable rear camber arms, lower control arms, and tow arms on the rear as well. The rear trailing arms, you can't get away from seeing them. Have you seen them, Greg? Which ones? The gold rear trailing arms. Have you seen those? Yeah. We can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you... The yellow ones? Yeah, yeah. Yellow? Cool. Have, you, have you done a... Now that's super lightweight. Aluminium, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So this car is built to handle, it's built to go and it's built to stop. It's a road going track car, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh yeah, that was for my jack. This is nice. This is a mechanics car, but I really like this one. Same slicks. The second one or the third one? I think the second one yeah. here is. Yeah. I thought <laughs> the rev limiter was boom immediately. Well, you just span up as soon as it hit VTEC at first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is my favorite Evo. Keep going. Right, see you later. See you later. Well, there we go. That was, uh, that was unexpected. That was unexpected. I thought it was your friend. No, I, I haven't seen him before. <laughs> I think that's going to draw this review to a close, isn't it? We've uh, pretty much covered everything we can today. Weather's been against us, but thank you very much to Nathan for bringing this out and showing us. Yeah. I'm really impressed by this car, and it's great to actually come over to one, be in it, touch it, feel it, rather than it being on a screen. Because, to be honest with you, that's the only other place I've seen these on, on a screen. So, uh, really nice to see it in the metal. Uh, thank you everyone for tuning in and watching another of our reviews. Make sure you like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram at Hazard Retros. Find us on Facebook. Find our Facebook page where you can find out a lot more about Hazard. You can find out about our merchandise. Cha-ching! 
and you can find out about our monthly meets. First Sunday of every month, our next meet is Sunday the 3rd of March at the Doghouse TN26 6SX. Thanks for tuning in, see you again soon. Bye bye.